Hey, so are you tired of how tingy and not really great sounding your Google Home Mini sounds for playing music? Well, I've got you covered right after this. Let's make smart home tech simple to enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you don't miss that next video. Welcome back you wonderful people, my name is Josh and this is The Gross Tech Show. Welcome if this is the first time you're here. Hello, my name is Josh. As I said, thank you again for coming by. Make sure you are subscribed, but that's not what you came here for. You want to know how you can make your Google Home Mini sound better. Uh, because let's be honest, it's, it's not a Bose. It's not the HomePod. And yes, you can connect your any of your Google Home devices to a Bluetooth speaker to make them sound great. But... Uh, it's not really making the speaker itself sound any better. It's still not that great. So I found a way that you can actually edit and make it sound, well, let's just say sound better than it is right now. All right, so what you want to do is grab your mobile device or whatever device you're going to be using and make sure you are on the same network like everything else. Go open your Google Home app. Go to the devices and you'll see all your different devices. Pick your device that you would like to change uh, how it sounds. And uh, we will grab the Home for now. It does this for any of the Google Home Mini, the Home, the Max, uh, your kitchen smart display. But just go ahead and hit the three dots above it. Go to settings. And then if you scroll down, you will see equalizer under sound settings. You can click on that and there you can change how much bass or how much treble is coming out of that speaker. And since it is a very tingy, uh, not great deep end audio coming out of the mini, go ahead and crank the bass up and I'm going to take down the treble to basically zero. So let's play some music and see what the difference is. All right, as you can see, the, or here really, I have to have it out there so I can get Wi-Fi out here. So it's playing. Turn it up a little bit. And if we go to the equalizer, take treble down all the way, turn bass up. And it sounds a little bit better. All right, so as you saw, it does make a little bit of a difference. It's still not gonna make it a HomePod, it's still not gonna make it a Google Home Max, but remember, these options are available for all the other Google Home Max, the mini, the main Google Home, even the Chromecast Audio, you have those options to be able to change that. And it's nice because in each room, you're gonna want something different because some rooms sound really great with the bass. Some sound really dead if you have a lot of bass. So you can change these things specifically to the room that you have those Google Home devices in, which makes it awesome to be able to have that little bit of tweaking ability in the app. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh and this has been The Gross Tech Show. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss another episode. And if you liked this episode or you got some information that was useful to you, make sure you hit the like button. The comments are always open for any kind of discussion and questions. God bless you guys and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.